would actually literally have to go and update in those 15 different places versus here I have one place. So there is uniqueness here. There is no guarantee of uniqueness here, but it's very efficient for reading. So that's kind of a, 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 a key difference. And, and that uh, kind of also uh, one more point I would like to make and then kind of conclude it with why why we are needing today big data uh, uh, you know solutions and, and, and BI appliances and so on so forth but before we get there one more aspect is that writing uh, is very sensitive to uh, integrity you need to maintain the integrity of data if I'm writing something and let's say I've written half an order worth of information and the CPU failed or the uh, the whole uh, disk failed or the machine failed I cannot lose that transaction. I cannot have something recorded halfway and fail. I would rather roll that back and, and say that I never recorded that fact than to have recorded a halfway, um, a halfway uh, uh, order. Now that is guaranteed here. I, I really don't need that here. If I'm re reading something from the system and um, during that time it fails, I can just disregard those results and just start all over again when, when I start off, start back on uh, uh, and, 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 uh, and go from there. So there is much less uh, transactional integrity required in the OLAP system as opposed to OLTP. Uh, so, so these are kind of pointing at a fact that I have very two different needs from the system. Uh, all the way from how my files are managed at an at a, at a, at a operating system level to how I design my databases to what I expect out of them. And given that, uh, the BI appliances, big data solutions have all pushed that to the um, extreme to say that when the volumes are really big and you have very different needs where one structure doesn't fit, you have one structure data, uh, I can um, uh, deal with less uh, 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 needs of right capability and really focus on the extraction and and the volume extraction be it through uh, uh, dividing it into uh, multiple uh, sub queries and, and basically doing using the parallel parallel aspect of uh, of query or uh, by by being smart about how I, how I read the data if my reads have to be so efficient maybe I can uh, store the data in such a way that that I tend to the columns I tend to read together, I put them all together and, and, and uh, uh, talk about like more columnar uh, storage, for example. Or I can um, uh, maybe uh, read only the columns that I need from a given row. So this row has so many columns and maybe it has 20 more. I'm only interested in first, fifth, and seventh. Maybe my appliance is smart enough to just read that data from the disk and give me only that much to process rather than reading the whole row. Uh, so, so it has enhanced upon the underlying same concept of relational database, but made it very uh, uh, efficient for large reads, uh, where I'm trying to answer questions like, what is my uh, trend over last five years and three years, and, and comparing uh, one side of uh, aggregate uh, or summarized data to another aspect of the business. Uh, so to answer those questions, I can be much more efficient here, and beyond the scale of what a relational database can manage, then I have these future solutions. So, so uh, uh, given that we have established here that fundamentally OLTP and OLAP are, you know, uh, completely opposite in their need from the underlying engine, that now establishes the basis to have a discussion to say, oh, maybe for very large extraction of data, we need something specialized. And let's then talk about the appliances and, and other solutions. And that's where I'm going to do another uh, uh, video blog on, on, on specifically focusing on that topic. But here I wanted to establish that fundamental difference between the two and why are we down the path where once the volume and the complexity has increased here and the demand has increased here, uh, we are now building very specialized solution to, to address that. So, so that's a, a general kind of background and for a, a kind of a, a fundamental discussion uh, leading into and look for the BI appliance and other uh, video blogs uh, from Sama. Um, hope this was helpful. If you have any comments, send it to info at sama.com. Um, and thank you.